Today another dollar. Y'all see what I'm doing. Breakdown. How y'all doing in YouTube land? Ah. Breaking it down, 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 down. All right, uh, getting it in the car. Yes, sir, getting it in, baby. Let my seat up. How y'all doing? This your boy, DJ Bolet, AKA Mr. Bolet, AKA Life with Bow Legs in a wheelchair, AKA with my Martin shirt on. Get to stepping right now. How y'all doing? Glad y'all out there watching the video. Make sure you hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. Please share this video on your social media platform. The more people know about it, the more people watch, the more uh, subscriptions that come up. Uh, when you hit the subscription, make sure you hit all on the post notification. Gotta hit all. You Apple uh, phone users, you have to take one more step. When you hit the all, it's gonna take you to another screen, and you hit Notifications, allow notifications. Boom, we in there. Your subscription don't count if you don't hit all post notifications. It just don't count. That's the way YouTube do it. So if y'all can help me out with that, I would appreciate it very, 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 very much. Okay? All right, let me plug my phone up because my phone needs to be charged. I had to bring the scissors out so I could open up. I got a brand new umbrella in the back, in the trunk, never used. But if you don't, you got to cut these plastic uh, binders off. And I need scissors, so I had to bring scissors down. I had to put the scissors away so I don't mess around and cut myself. Can't be cutting on myself. All right, so we on our way. We have to go to the fabric store and we have to go to the vinyl store and we have to go to the warehouse. Three stops, all right? That's where we gotta go, cause I'm making t-shirts. And we gotta go, oh, four places. We gotta go to Casa de Porras because I made t-shirts and hoodies for Casa the Cigar Lounge. So, um, I'm gonna show y'all the, the hoodie once I stop and I can show it to you. I want you to see it in the dark right now in the car, it's kinda dark in here. So, I want y'all to see it in the light, man, it's, gorgeous just gorgeous and the shirts are gorgeous also and i know the owner gonna love them if he don't that's on him you know what i'm saying i know that got certified that people like it and i took his design and i made it better you know what i'm saying made it way better so that's what we're gonna do today i'm gonna get back to y'all when we get to our first stop okay peace what 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 we are back real quick y'all real quick if you ever come to Chicago, the west side, which is the best side, got the best hot dog place in the world. I'm telling you, hands down, no competition, period. Period, all right? And it's on the corner of Grand and Pulaski. Grand and Pulaski. The name of it is Jimmy's Original Red Hots, all right? So I'm gonna show it to you. Back here. <sighs> Boom. There you go right there. That's it. That's the place right there, y'all. And they got a big stupid parking lot. Big stupid parking lot. So, so you can come and oh excuse me. I just ate. I'm telling you, excuse me. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I had to get that out. Mm. Uh, you can come down here, get you something to eat. I'm telling you, it is the bomb, bomb, bomb. I'm telling you, it's, it, I'm telling you, they Polish and they hot dogs. I eat the Polish with the mustard and onions and relish on it, and then you get the fries. They hand hand peeled, and they keep the skin on it. They fry the skin too. Best fries in Chicago, hands down, hands down. Ask anybody, ask CJ on 32s, ask Marty Ma, all them people will tell you. When they come to Chicago, they mess with Jimmy's, man, I'm telling you. So, just leaving Jimmy's, I'm finna make a stop at um, my uncle's body shop, mechanic shop, rather, and drop these tires off 
in my back of my trunk. They got to get out. Uh, they go to the Mitsubishi, the one I just got. And I'm finna, after that, go on Costner to see my man Ose to go pick up this vinyl so I can finish these t-shirts, all right? All right, I'm out of here. Peace. Back, y'all. I'm in my uncle's uh, auto mechanic shop. Yep, we at the shop, baby. It's the fence. I just bagged in so he can get the tires out. Got the trunk open back there. Yeah, y'all see him. He all in the trunk. Hey, and they got the nerve have a little meat on them. Yeah. What up, nephew? I'm all right. No. He's still, he's still not in front of that door down. Get him back down. Get him, go get him, go get him, go get him, go get him. Look at him, he's down the street. He's still in the umbrella. Look at him, he's still in the umbrella. Look at him, look, he can't get it open. He can't get it open. Look at him. Look at him, look at him. What, he really don't have to open anyway. He's see how big it is. Oh, he's coming up here. He's done. Okay, you can roll now. Yeah, that's a nice umbrella you got there. That's a real nice one. What kind of umbrella that is? That's a nautica. That's a real nice hey, umbrella hey, you got right there. I be using this when I be shooting 18 holes ago. Oh, okay, that's fine. It's big enough. It's big enough. You ain't gonna miss a court day with me on that. Either. No, sir. No, sir. I ain't gonna miss a court day. I got you on video. Yes, sir. Hey. They had them on sale for $19.99, hey, and it came with a smaller version. Oh, it came with two. Shit, you can't beat that price. Hell, my Big umbrella, too? Shit. Yeah, that's that big motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, and it's for emergency purposes. Yeah, let me put it back in the trunk. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. Hey. Uh, but them old tires got some, got some goddamn uh, meat on them. got some meat on them. Pop the trunk of the Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, um, he been taking care of my cars, man. Hey, man. Hey, hey, Rabbit, how many of my cars have you worked on? Uh, you ain't have a two, so it ain't been but two. Just... <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all see? I worked on every one of them but that Mercedes. It? Yep, you didn't work on a Mercedes. Yeah, that's the old... Uh, what's your name, dear, my Mercedes? Yeah, that's the What's that boy name got killed? Uh, you uh, talking uh, about... Uh, uh, it was Lewis, buddy. Yeah, I know you talking about... Uh, Murdoch, Murdoch, Murdoch. Yeah. oh Murdoch, Mur was bad, yeah Murdoch was bad when it came, shit. shit, Murdoch knew them foreign cars, oh you couldn't tell them nothing about a foreign car, you couldn't car. tell them shit about no foreign, he knows everything, what, why went here, there, yep, take that, yeah. yep, Murdoch, they, they, they can bring him a foreign car in a box, he gonna put it together, yes sir, that Murdoch knew like everything, spicy. Yes, sir. Murdoch knew everything about a foreign, about a foreign car, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah, man. That yeah. was my man, Jack. If you mention it to him, he can tell you. You tell him what year, what he going to tell you, what horsepower, that motor, and everything. And they ain't even seen the car. Just the man told me about stuff that was in my car. I had had the car damn near a year. And he told me about stuff that was in my car. I didn't even know it was in there. Yeah, Murdoch was a bad motherfucker, boy. Yeah, Murdoch was a bad man when it come to foreign cars. Yeah, yeah. Bad. And, and and get his money. He gonna you gonna pay him because yeah. he know what he talking about. He know this, he know this shit. Though. Yeah, he know this shit. It, it wasn't no and had, and look look had the proper stuff to take care yeah, of. Yeah, hey, wasn't none of that. He talked talk that shit. He could talk to talk and walk to walk too. Mm -hmm. Shit. Mm -hmm. he, and look here, if a if a motherfucker hated Murdoch and said he didn't know nothing about cars, they had to be hating on him. And look. Had to, like, had to. Just like me and Murdoch could have been enemies and whatnot, right? right? But I never would have said, I said, look, me and the man don't get along, but the man know his shit about them foreign cars. Yes, sir. So I couldn't badmouth him on no, that. No, you couldn't. Even if I hate him, I ain't gonna badmouth him. You got to keep it, give him his props. You got to, got yeah. to. How mom and dad? Mom, okay, dad in the hospital. Well, he might be home today. He might be home today? Yeah, yeah, he, he, he went in last Friday, yeah. Hey, did you uh, uh, uh do that? What? Order that, that, that scammer. Remember, you told me you were gonna order me a scammer. You know what? I totally forgot, right? Remember, we talked about I told you I, I said, sold I this. Remember, I said I, I, I do I, it right I, now. I, I'm gonna come back to y'all. Let me let me order the scanner for him. Yeah, you know. Well, 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 here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We moved on. We just left Aunt Place. Now we are at the warehouse. The warehouse is where I get some of the print, it's a print company. So I design stuff, I size it up, and then I have them print it. Then I take it home, and I do whatever I need to do with it. I just give it straight to the customer, I give it to the customer. 
I need to put it on some water bottles or I need to put it on some uh, uh, water, uh, cups, coffee mugs, or baseball caps, or t-shirts, whatever. Uh, iPad, uh, mouse pads, I do those too, do mouse pads. I even do blankets and, 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 and all kinds of stuff. Do shower curtains, you know what I'm saying? If you want some shower curtains with your picture on it, done. Just call your boy Bowleg. I got you. My number the same as you is 773-407-4376. So, I'm going to say that again because y'all might not have heard me. My phone number is 773-407-4376. Hello, Rabbit? You call me back, bro. Yeah, I was telling you, I wanted you to, uh, I'm telling you that they had did the rims on my uh, Black Panther. They had painted them, but we were sitting there talking, I forgot to tell you. Uh, yeah, I see, I see yeah, I was just trying to talk. Yeah, I see, I, 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 I seen the rims with me. I yeah. looked at them, I know they were the same. Yeah, that's all I want to tell you. Yeah, yeah, I had seen them with me. When I had turned the corner, I looked at them, I know I seen the different one they had did, yeah. Yeah, and I ordered your um, I ordered your um, your things. They should yeah. be here Sunday or Monday. Oh, okay. All right, bye. Yeah, so I'm over here picking up uh, some print stuff. I gotta make some stuff I had printed, well, some things I gotta make. So, uh, just wanted to let y'all know what I'm doing, man. This stop number what? Three. Yo, Jimmy's Rabbit, and then Prince Stop. And then I gotta go to another place. Gotta go to my man joint. He got a store, I gotta stop by there and holler at him. Uh, that's four. Then I gotta go to Forest Park. They're gonna be five. I'd add an extra stop. Hey man, we don't know what's gonna happen in the day. We just keep going and vlogging my life. The way it is. Uh, there go my nephew. Look out. That's the owner's son. I call him my favorite nephew. He always take care of me. He told me the other day that my other car was a piece of shit. What you with me that day? He told me it was a piece of trash to get out of it. Cause he ain't used to be driving no no hoopty. He used to be driving some slick, but he's like. But you know what I like about the hoopty? People don't know who I am, and they don't flag me down. I get to just go. I ain't in my hoopty today. Uh, no trash. What you call it? What you call the other car? Trash. Piece of trash. Piece of trash. What about the, how you how you like the rims I just had painted, powder coated? Got the word Black Panther. Watch your booty, watch your booty. Right, watch your booty. Yeah, you know these people are ignorant. You, yeah. Yeah, that's nice. That look nice? Nice. Customized. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna go park it. Cause I had it waxed and look what happened, it rained. It still look good, but it, the, the wax got it beaten up, but still. I had just got it waxed. I only had to enjoy it one day with, with the wax job. When it was white, oh my God. As soon as I saw it, I was like, now nah, that's black. You know, you want black to be black. Yeah, it was looking real good. But, all right, all right I'm gonna go knock these out. All right, have a good day. Thank you, nephew. Okay, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm up here at Casa de Porres. We up here at the Cigar Lounge. Best cigar lounge in the city of Chicago. You ain't gonna go nowhere that's that's more smoother than this joint. And it's black owned. That's the best part about the whole situation. It's black owned. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I spend my money. I spend my money with black folks. You know what I'm talking about? That's what I do. But check this out. I'm up here with the owner's son. We're going to let him tell you where he at and all that good stuff and how he's going to treat you when you come up here. Come on over here, man. Let's talk to me, man. What's going on, people? My name is Ed. I'm not the owner's son, but I work here. You just hey. like his son. 
uh, this is a great place to come smoke, come hang out, have a drink, and have a smoke, man. We're here tonight, we got the game going, the finals. So uh, come and enjoy. That's what Give me your do. address. Smoke cigars. 7410 number. Madison, Forest Park, Illinois. What's your phone number here? Uh, phone number is 708-725-7180. Uh, uh, okay, all right now. You stuttering. 708 uh, 725-7180. Okay. Do y'all got a, uh, any uh, social media? We're on uh, Facebook. Instagram and Twitter. Okay. Check us out. Follow us. Okay. Peace. That's it. See? There you go. You got it right there from the horse's mouth. So, I'm going to get back at y'all. I'm going to enjoy this good old cigar and have me a little sip of this uh, hot chocolate I got. And that's the end of it for the night. Oh, yeah. New teeth on the way, baby. I've been, I'm, I've been went in there and talked to them people. They, they hooked my mouth up. My teeth should be here in about maybe a week or so. I'm going to have that high pro glow again, baby. I'm back. I'm back. I told y'all I'll get my mojo back, and ain't nothing y'all can do about it. And if you like me, you like me. If you don't, that's cool, too. I ain't mad at you. I'll see y'all later. Peace. I'm back to close this video out. I just found out some, I just found out some disturbing news. Ed, the one I interviewed for this uh, uh, video, got the nerve to be with Boston. I'm gonna have to edit that part out the video. I'm, I'm sorry. Too, you disturbed? I'm disturbed. Yeah, I am too. I didn't know. Ed got Boston? I had no idea. Hey, Ed, say it one time for I the camera. I got Boston. Say it for I the camera. I got Boston. You got Boston. I got Boston. I had no idea. At one point, I, I got Boston. I never. I have never been a Boston State fan. Well, Get it on camera. Time. Get it on camera. Yeah, I need the day time. Uh oh, better than cigar. Okay, okay, yeah, on camera. Oh my god. I don't believe this, man. It actually going with Boston. What's wrong with him, man? Man, look, I'm finna end this video, man. I'm really disturbed right now. I'm really I'm disturbed. disturbed. You disturbed? I'm disturbed. It's, right. it's, right it's okay. He, he purposely kept that from me. I really, you kept, you kept it from me too. You kept it from me. Right. Man, I've been going with Boston. The whole thing. That's why I ain't know that. But it's okay. It's okay. You still my guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to end this video right now. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.